Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Recently I was thinking about new video ideas to do and I thought of a really fun one which is going to be me reading um, books that I used to love as a kid. And um, obviously I'm not going to be going back too far in my childhood. Um, so I'm really going to be doing books that I've primarily read um, throughout grade school, middle school, that sort of um, time in my life. So I'm not going to be reading like children's books or things like that, but I'll be reading books that are more geared towards a middle grade audience and books that I remember really enjoying, but I don't remember like too much of the plot of. So for example, I'm not going to be reading some of my all time favorite childhood classics like Wonder or The Mysterious Benedict Society because I remember the majority of the things that happen in those books. I'm more going to be focused on books that I remember loving but don't really remember too much of the plot. So that being said, I've chosen three books off of my shelf that I'm going to be rereading this week. Hopefully I will uh, still love them because I feel like that's my biggest fear in filming this video is I'm gonna reread a book that I remember loving as a kid but now like I'm worried that I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> the first book that I'll be reading in this video is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. So this book was recommended to me um, by a family friend whose daughter also loved to read and Neil Gaiman has been an author that I've really enjoyed throughout the years. I've, I've only read maybe three of his books, but um, this book is more of like a darker uh, book that's geared towards like middle schoolers. And I'm someone who loves Halloween. And since it is October and Halloween's coming up, I thought this would be a fun one to reread as it's sort of, you know, dark and mysterious. Um, and it's relatively short uh, and has lots of cool artwork throughout as well. So I'm very excited to pick this one up. I remember loving this book. Uh, it actually won the Newbery Medal Award, so that's pretty cool. I really hope that this lives up to my memory because <laughs> uh, I remember enjoying this book so much. So I'm hoping to get to this very, very soon. I don't know if it'll be the first book I read in this video because I have some great ones coming up as well, but this is gonna be uh, one of the ones that I'll be reading in this video. The next book I'll be getting to in this video is The Invention of Hugo Cabaret. This book <laughs> is it looks hefty, but it's actually a graphic novel, so it has lots of pictures, things like that. The movie is amazing for this. I remember watching that movie on repeat so many times, and so I had no idea it was a book until I saw it um, at like a garage sale one day, and that's where I got this beautiful hardcore copy, or hard co hardcover copy. <laughs> um, surprisingly enough, this I didn't realize this when I was picking them out, but this is actually also a Newbery Medal winner, um, so that's pretty cool. This book is written by Brian Selznick, who is also the author of uh, a book of similar format called Wonderstruck, which is also um, a movie. I think it's been made into a movie as well. So this one is just one of those stories that I do remember a lot of what happens, but I, I remember that from watching the movie over and over again, whereas I think I only read this maybe once or twice. Um, so I'm so excited to get into this. It's nice because it is like a graphic novel and it could be good to like break up my other reads in this video. So I'm excited to get to it and hopefully I will love it as much as I love the movie. <laughs> and the third and final book I will be reading in this video is When You Reach Me by Rebecca Steed. This is yet another Newbery Medal Award winner, which I did not plan, <laughs> um, but I'm so excited to read this one. This was like the first contemporary, like middle grade book that I read. And so I'm so excited to um, dive into that one again, because I literally remember nothing from that book but I'm so excited for it to come in the mail and I'm so excited to read it. So I will update you as I go and wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so it is currently Sunday night and I have made a little bit of progress with Hugo. I don't know, I was just in the mood for this today, so I don't know if I'll finish it. I'm gonna try to, cause again, it is kind of like a faster read, but I am loving it so far. It just I forgot how much I love the art style because the art style is very simple. It's like not over the top. So for example, like although it looks a little bit um, more detailed, like it, it, it doesn't look super detailed, and that's one of the things I love about it. So like this is one of the pictures. Like it, it just it makes you feel like you're in the story, but it's not like over the top with um, 
sort of realisticness. You know, it's kind of cartoony. It's meant to be a little cartoony. Um, I think my favorite pictures so far, though, are um, like the little pictures that um, are like transitions. So like, I love this of Hugo sort of going into his home and basically the focal point is just his foot. And I just think it's so like unique. Um, and obviously there's a lot of text too, but I also just love the narration in this and just everything about it is perfect. So I am sensing um, that this will not disappoint. <laughs> so yes, I will update you guys when I finish this, hopefully either tomorrow or the next day, and then I'll probably end up moving on to the graveyard book. Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday morning. I just woke up. I don't have school because it's like a testing day and since I'm like a senior in high school I already did all my testing so I got the day off which is really nice <laughs> um, and so I've been spending that time finishing up Hugo and I just read the most stunning quote and I love it so much basically this is about halfway through the book it's uh, sort of like the second half of the book like there's like a page that marks like the second half and the line that I wanted to share says, But another story begins, because stories lead to other stories, and this one leads all the way to the moon. Is that not the most beautiful quote you've ever heard? Honestly? And, like, look at how gorgeous this page is. Like, hello. Um, this book is gorgeously made. It has these really cool, like, sprayed edges. And I kind of, like, am obsessed with them. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a gorgeous book. I'm almost done with it. I uh, can't wait to, to finish it up. So I will update you when that is complete. Hey guys, so I actually just finished Hugo and it was amazing. I forgot how good this book is. Like, it's so hard to describe because I think when I was reading it when I was a lot younger, I didn't quite pick up on all of the sort of messages and the important underlying tones of the writing um, because I was so focused on the pictures because the illustrations are gorgeous. Um, you know, I think maybe that had taken up too much of my attention because the writing in this is so much better than I remember. Like truly, there's a couple lines where I had to tab because I was just like stunned. I was in shock of like how good the writing was. And I feel like that's something that I really wish I had picked up on when I was a lot younger. And obviously I was, what, in like fourth grade when I read that for the first time. So obviously I can't like, <laughs> you know, harp too much on that. Um, but I truly just, I loved it. My reread, five out of five stars, like truly uh, was so impressed with this book. Um, if you haven't checked this out, honestly, I would say just do it. This did not take me long to read at all. I know it looks huge and it looks so daunting, but please, please, please give it a go because it is just such a good story. And I am in the process of rewatching the movie now um, because I love the book so much. Um, and the movie is also really, really well done. I remember that much because I watched that movie on repeat so often. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so honestly, so happy I reread this. Um, if you get the chance, please give it a go. My next book that I'm going to be starting is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I am so happy to be starting this book um, because I remember how amazing the writing is in this. And Neil Gaiman, just in general, I love his writing style. Um, I mentioned before that I'd read a few of his books before, but I remember, especially in this book, the story was so unique and it's not really like, it, it's not cut and dry. It's straightforward, it's easy to follow, but it definitely has some little nuances and things that I have a feeling I'm gonna pick up on, especially um, when I reread it this time rather than when I read it before. So I'm so excited to get into this. And two, it's like spooky season, it is October. And this is, it has graveyard in the name, so it's just calling to me, you know? So anyway, I'm going to, I have to run to school for um, a club meeting that I'm running. And when I get back, I will hopefully be able to start reading some of this lovely book. So I will update you then. Hi friends, so it is currently Sunday, October 17th. And I have just finished um, Hugo, last time I updated, and I'm almost done with the graveyard book, which 
I also just realized today that I've been pronouncing his last name wrong. It's actually Neil Gaiman. I always thought that was an L. So, <laughs> in addition to almost being done with the graveyard book, I also was able to start the audiobook for um, When You Reach Me. And I decided to go audiobook route just because I was looking at it on like Goodreads and stuff. And the audiobook is only like four hours total and I listen on two times speed. So I'm going to be able to like finish it within like the next day or so. Um, and so yeah, then I'll have all three of my books read and I'll share my final thoughts once I have all three of them read. Um, but I do have to applaud my, I don't know, fifth grade self for her book choices because uh, all of them so far have been amazing. And I guess I did kind of set myself up for success by picking Newbery award winning books to, <laughs> to read, but that was not even intentional. It was just books that I remember enjoying when I was little. So yeah, I'm excited to um, give you guys my final thoughts and funny story. I took this book to school with me to read during lunchtime and I had packed sushi to have for lunch that day and I ended up spilling soy sauce all over my book. So lesson learned, don't eat sushi and read at the same time. But um, yeah, so I will update you guys as soon as I finish all three of my books and yeah, so be on the lookout for that within the next couple seconds. Hi friends, so I have officially finished all three of my books for my challenge and I have to say that I am so happy I did this challenge. It truly just made me like reminisce on all of like my old favorites that I may have kind of forgotten about. Uh, especially I found both the graveyard book and when you reach me to be such incredible books that I, I knew I loved but I just I'd forgotten why and um, now that I've reread them and sort of got to read them when I was older I really appreciate them a lot more than I think I did in the past so without further ado let's do some um, brief wrap-ups of all of my reads <laughs> so the first book that I read during this challenge was um, Hugo Cabaret, The Invention of Hugo Cabaret by um, Brian Selznick, and this book was amazing. I love this story to death, and it truly just brought back so many happy memories, and I just, I, I, I have nothing but good things to say about this book. Um, I actually had two quotes that I had to tab in here that I thought were just so beautiful. But truly, I recommend this book to you, even if you're no longer, um, you know, a child. <laughs> it is a really quick read. There's tons of beautiful illustrations and pictures and uh, just the story alone is, I just think, worth, worth uh, picking this book up for. So definitely check this one out. So happy I read it. I remembered how much I love this book and truly is just always going to be one of my favorites. So yes. The next book that I finished is When You Reach Me by Rebecca Stead. And when I first decided to read this book, I remembered exactly two aspects of this book and nothing else. So I remembered like two things that happened and then I, I just like didn't remember the plot, didn't remember anything. But basically the story has to do with um, a girl coming of age story. It's like her kind of growing up and learning what it means to be more of an adult in this world. It discusses some really like pretty intense topics for a children's book and I think I commend it for that because it did it with such care and ease. Um, it talked a lot about um, time travel too. There was like an element of time travel uh, because one of our uh, main characters favorite books is A Wrinkle in Time which if you're unfamiliar is a book that's about, about time travel. And so it even talked about a little bit about race and uh, being different and things like that and you know class issues as well and so I think that it was a gr this is a great book to sort of introduce kids to some of those heavier topics and it was done in a way that was really responsible and so I commend Rebecca Stead for that and overall this story was just so cute I listened to it on audiobook and it's really short and yet it was quick paced it was funny it was witty um, you know, I was never bored. The only thing I will say is when you read this, make sure that you do pay attention to the characters because although it's a smaller cast, each of those characters is significant in some sort of way. So just make sure when you're reading it, you're, you know, picking up on who characters are and things like that. But no, I 100% recommend this. It's a reason, there's a reason for it, um, uh, being such a distinguished book. There's a reason that it won a Newbery Medal Award. Um, and uh, I think if you're, um, again, like a older adult too, I think you could still um, get a lot out of this read. So 
I have I totally see why I loved this book when I was younger <laughs> and I love it just as much now. The final book that I read during this challenge was The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman and I read the first half of it um, a physical reading but then I found myself kind of like zoning out just because it's um, it, it's definitely like there's there's some elements of it where uh, it's hard to follow in the beginning because there's like words that you're not familiar with whereas when I picked it up on audiobook I was like immediately like transported into the mindset of oh this is a story this is a story that I'm I've been reading and so I think as long as you're you know engaged and ready to like read this book you should be good I was reading it when I had a lot of other things happening so I wasn't able to like fully focus on it um but in the audiobook is amazing it's narrated by Neil Gaiman and if you don't know Neil Gaiman is also the author of Coraline which is um like an animated movie now uh, which is really cute and he just does mystery and like uh darker like themes for children so well and I truly forgot a lot of why this book was so significant to me when I was first reading it I was like why did I love this much like I don't get it I don't get it but then as soon as I hit like a quarter of the way through I was like oh that's why so if you're unfamiliar with the story this is about a boy named Bod whose, fa whose family gets murdered when he's younger and he ends up getting sort of taken in by a graveyard and so the ghosts of the graveyard the sort of keepers of the graveyard look after him and have him grow up um, in their care and it's such a sweet story and again it's sort of like a coming of age story so at the end you know you see him progress from a, a one-year-old all the way up to a 15 year old living in the graveyard and learning all these life lessons and how to be a good person and how to sort of live life on his own and it's truly just such a touching story as well as it's fun it's fast-paced it's funny there's so many different characters and different people that you're meeting and you know seeing bod interact with a lot of the people in the graveyard as well is just so touching and so cute so i'd say that this is another very deserving winner of the newberry medal award even if you're not really into sort of haunting spooky stories this one is still such a good one to pick up i mean every like ch beginning of the chapters is so captivating and the writing is just incredible i mean some of these lines in here i was just like wow like neil gaiman really really brought the thunder with this one and um especially if you're reading it in the hard like in the hard form uh there's beautiful illustrations in here as well uh, and I don't know if I showed this before, but this is my favorite. Like the beginning of the chapter literally is there was a hand in the dark and it held a knife or like something like that. And it's just, it, it's just so cool. And so I definitely think that this book, uh, is deserving of all of the love and support that it gets and it should um and so you should definitely check it out if this is something that you're interested in or if it's if you're just interested in learning more about um neil gaiman's works and things like that other than his you know most famous work which is probably Coraline. um so truly recommend this book to anyone uh it's for all ages really it's definitely got some some darker themes in it but if you're you know looking for something to keep you cozy i'm filming this on october 24th i think so we have a few more days until halloween so this is definitely great for an autumn season you could read this any time of year really and just fall in love with it like i did um but definitely this one's a great one to read as well so those were my three books that i read that were my favorites from my childhood that i decided to pick back up and see if my thoughts had changed and guess what they have not. I still love all of those books with all of my heart. And uh, it was funny because now I guess I, I I think I can commend my younger self on her reading taste as all three of these books are Newbery Medal winners and I think that they are all deserving of <laughs> to be Newbery Medal winners. So I think that I can kind of trust my old judgment as well as my new judgment. And who knows, maybe my opinions will change in a few years, but I definitely am so glad that I read these books. Um, and I hope you enjoyed my thoughts and my take on them. Uh, definitely check them all out if you're uh, looking for some cute, fun, fast reads. All three of these books are incredible for that. So yes, all three of these books I highly recommend. Thank you so much for watching, sticking around and hearing my thoughts. <laughs> this video took me way too long to film, um, but we, we, we did it. We got through it, we enjoyed it, um, and I am looking forward to doing more videos like this in the future. So if that's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next Even if you try, you wouldn't.